Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I ripped out my old mini pond and put in this new and improved little mini pond. I used this to house some of the juvenile and sub-adult terrapins and turtles before they're large enough to go into the main pond. Before it was just a little 75 gallon tub kind of halfway sunk into the ground with a cruddy little filter box that I had and it really just honestly did not look good. And primarily my parents hated it and it's their house, so something had to change. So you guys can see how I took out the old system and put in this new and improved little mini pond here. Not only is it more efficient and filtering better, but it looks way better and it holds more volume than the other pond. So now before we get started with today's video, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and hit the little bell notification thingy that way you get notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support me and support the channel while also getting some cool stuff, make sure that you guys hit the link right up over here and head over to my Teespring. Over there you can get some shirts with some pretty cool designs and also if you send me a photo of you wearing it I will post it here for the entire world to see and you get some cool shirts while also helping to support me and support the channel. If you want to go the extra step to support me and help me be able to afford things like this new mini pond hit the link right up over here and head over to my Patreon. You get exclusive access to behind the scenes stuff. I showed everyone the mini pond before this video came out. You get access to videos a day early and you get to join this list of lovely people. So with all that fun stuff out of the way let's go through and explain exactly how I built this thing. What I've done here is I've gone ahead and pulled all the rocks and things and, and the wood and whatnot and taken it all out. Now I'm about to start pumping out the water from this mini pond and as soon as I pulled away this waterfall box it immediately cracked and snapped off and that's the end of it right there that snapped off. So kind of not cool but basically what I need to do is get this whole thing off so that way I can dig a hole and get this I want this entire thing probably right here, right in this spot, and then dig out a new mini pond. And we're gonna use a liner this time, that way I can make it whatever shape I want, and so I can use rocks to hide it better. The next day. So the issue was over here. This pipe right here connected continuously with this pipe up here. However, this was, uh, it was hitting this and this was being raised up. So this was not level and I needed to get this level so that way I could start backfilling and that way I could, you know, just start getting this in place and this finished. So what I had to do was I had to come through here. I had to reroute a little bit and I had to use a piece of flexible hose and a little adapter right here in order to fit a piece of flexible hose. That way, even while this thing is running, once it's glued in, I can move it and it will not leak at all. So once I got that in place, I had to all let it dry. Oh, and then just for fun, the old mini pond that was over there, I turned it into a new cave for the turtles. If I made, at first I made this opening, and then I realized that if I made this other side as wide as that one, it would have zero structural integrity and it would probably just collapse. I'm not the best at making things even or straight, but the point was that the fish and turtles could all fit through this or multiple at a time without any issue. So I'm gonna toss this in the water, that way they have somewhere extra to sleep tonight. And then it's time for me to eat and go to sleep tonight. So let's see what I can get done tomorrow. The next day. So I've gone ahead and expanded this little hole now that I have so much extra liner and I have dug it a little bit deeper. It's probably about the same footprint, but it's like a good six inches deeper now. So that way I can just maximize the amount of space that I have here because I can't really expand it out this way because then we hit the beach and I can't expand it that way because then I hit the bog. So essentially what's going to happen is I now need to make room for all of my bricks. I need to lay the bricks just like that all the way around and I need to make room to lay them like that. But the first thing I'm going to do, because then I'm gonna have extra dirt. So that way I'm not working. Hello, little lizard. Hi, buddy. Sorry, I just stepped near him. He got annoyed. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so I'm not working on top of myself. I'm going to make the connection right here. Essentially, there's basically gonna be a Y and then a ball valve here and then a ball valve back there. And this ball valve will pretty much become useless, but it's already there. There's no point in trying to repurpose it or get rid of it. So I'm gonna get this, this all glued. So let me show you guys essentially what's going on here. I have a ball valve there 
which is the main supply of water. Right now, all 5,000 gallons an hour are going into this bog. Basically, I can throttle that and turn it, and then I have a main shutoff right there. So if I wanna shut off water to this and out to the drain, then I can, but essentially that one's kinda useless right now. So basically what I can do is turn that, which will let water into here, and then it's gonna be stopped right there, and that one is completely open. So I can throttle, basically my control, I can change how much water comes into here, goes into the bog, and goes into this drain. Hello, turtle nerds. It is going to storm very badly here. But before I do, before we get that coming in, I'm trying to get some, some things done. Clearly I got a lot done since I've last showed off. I mean, I guess all I did was clean up the dirt, line up the shelf, and uh, put in my liner here. But basically what I'm about to do, before we have a tornado warning right now, so before I die, I'm going to leave my lasting legacy and I'm going to seam these two liners together. I've pulled back all the rock and whatnot. This should be plenty of room. I'm gonna seam the heck out of it, seam all up in there, put a whole bunch of beads. And so I'm about to do that and then uh, hopefully I can go inside it's really starting to get bad and um, I as much as I would love to die just maybe not today so I'm gonna go do that and hopefully get that done and yeah we'll see how that goes that's where I'm at right now Don't be mad, but I've kind of lost track of what day it is. And I kind of like, I sealed the liner and I foamed yesterday. And um, basically now the whole thing is ready to be turned on. And I kind of just spent the last like hour decorating and doing touch up and hiding the liner and whatnot. But y'all, this uh, this mini pond is like dumb. I've gone ahead and I've backfilled in almost all the spots. I've added some bricks. I've got this log to make the water look like it's kind of coming out of nowhere. I got to move that little pebble right there. But basically, what I did was I made two rocks there and there that sort of triangulate and force the water down into that middle little rock and then that one is going to make a nice little shear that's going to come down and of course I didn't fill the rest of this little mini pond with rocks because they are expensive. That's all foam that's showing and I filled this a little bit yesterday. The water's going to come over to here where I had to seam my liners together. I sealed it and I used foam and I used a couple other sealants just to make sure that it's a really good watertight fit and yeah that so the water's gonna just trickle down through here and then come on out. So I'm about ready to get this whole thing turned on. And I can say that I'm actually really happy with the way that it turned out. I'm gonna be backfilling all of that so that way you can't see the plumbing behind it. But I can't do that right now because I wanna run it for the day and basically just make sure that there's no leaks in any of the fittings or any of the plumbing. So with all that being said, let's get this thing turned on. So I thought, so I thought, so I Holy, yeah, so this is like maximum, maximum flow. Way more than I would ever need. Look at this here. Look at that. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. It's like not even coming out fast enough. Okay, we're gonna turn this down a little. So here is the completed mini pond and I have two turtles that are now in here. You can see he's hiding out right down there. The two of them have been in here for a couple days and so far they're enjoying it. I added that little basking dock and of course I'm gonna make this look better. I'm gonna put more sand at the bottom. I'm gonna put some plants and probably another piece of wood for them to bask on. But overall, I'm really happy with the way that this mini pond turned out and I think that it's looking pretty dark good. For something that I just kind of threw together, I think that this thing has really come together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and maybe learned something. Stick around so you can see what I put in the mini pond in future videos, and I'll see you all in the next one.